Hello again. Um, it's what, 12.30 at the moment? I am exhausted. I don't know, well, I do know why. It's because I soon decided to wake me up at 6.55 in the morning. And I, my medica one of my medications causes me to be extremely drowsy in the morning. So unfortunately, the medications removed my ability to be a morning person, which sucks. Um, so I ended up just laying in bed for an hour and a half to two hours because I couldn't move because medication. So it's lunchtime. Uh, I thought I'd show you what I'm currently reading. So I have a veritable brick of leftovers. Um, this is burrito mix, although you'll notice that the rice is green. That's because I used bamboo rice instead of regular rice. Why did I use bamboo rice? Because it was there. It actually tastes pretty good. So gonna be putting that into that, and then into that. There we go, now it's all wrapped. Uh, so referen for reference, this is my burrito mix, so to speak. Um, it's pretty much all from scratch other than the tortillas. And I didn't bother shredding cheese myself. I'll just put this into the oven. There we go. And it should be reheated in about 28 minutes. Okay, um, so for reference, this has, as previously mentioned, the um, bamboo rice. It also has, with the spoon you can see it, uh, boneless skinless chicken thighs, pinto beans, and what you can't see is a whole bunch of cheese. This is very um, cheesy. It's just not visible. It kind of merged with the rice. Um, I have my own taco seasoning that I'm using for the tortillas. Uh, hold on, let me grab that. You can see how messy my kitchen is. Uh, there we go. See, it's taco powder. Uh, this is just an old chili powder mix thing that I've mixed up with various spices that I use heavily on the tortilla, on tortillas, on the, um, burritos. And then when I put it in, I also added a lot of salt. Uh, the reason for adding the salt is one, I like salt, but two, this ended up turning out fairly bland this time. So I need something to enhance the flavors and salt works really well for that. Put this back in. By the way, am I the only one that really likes glass containers rather than plastic ones? Um, I've gotten some strange looks by friends when I well, I don't like plastic much of anything, if I can help it. Obviously, the lid's plastic. Um, so I tend to use glass for almost everything and just keep reusing it forever. But my friends keep commenting, oh, you're going to break it and so on. I have never broken one of those. Um, my housemate's broken one. Uh, I'm pretty sure my partner broke one. I also have drinking glasses. I've had these since I moved to Madison. Um... They have a lot of hard water stains on, you can see it now. But the plastic stuff is just things that I've accumulated over the years from various free things. Or I think this one's a D&D. &D. Yeah, this is a D&D &D plastic cup. But I don't like drinking out of plastic. I like drinking out of glass or ceramic. Also, I have a crap ton of mugs given that I don't drink tea or coffee or hot chocolate all that often. Uh, let's see, what else while well, I'm still waiting for this thing to endlessly tick? Um, so this is my convection oven. I loved my convection oven until the convection feature broke. Here, let me show you. Yeah, it doesn't quiet down from this. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. Sometimes it just makes angry noises, and sometimes it does that. So what I'm pretty sure it is, is just that there's too much grease that's attached to the fan where the fan's unbalanced, but it could also be that the fan in there, the bearings are shot, or it could be something else. The problem is that this particular design, I can't get out the fan to repair it. In theory, I might be able to take the entire thing apart and do it, but ah, uh, that I had a friend over here who was trying to take a look at it and ended up being, hi, um, it ended up being, 40 or 50 screws before he figured out that he was going about it the wrong way. So, yeah. How about no? So I'm just using this as an oven rather than a convection convection oven 
for the time being. If it breaks further, I'll replace it. I really don't want to replace it, though, because I'm going to be moving in less than a year, hopefully. Uh, what else do I have? Well, this is the lid for my Instant Pot. I do like my Instant Pot. This is on my list of things I'm going to need to rebuy when I move to Norway. Um, I can sort of see it over here. Again, pardon the mess from everything. I do share a house with my housemate, and most of these things are actually my housemates. Um... Yeah, you can tell from the sheer amount of alcohol in here and the fact that I don't drink at all. Um, I love my Instant Pot. I use it primarily as a pressure cooker, but also as a way of using one pot for everything. Um, highly recommended if you like to cook, but not necessarily cook for extended periods of time. Or if you are like me and cook for very large quantities of food all at once. The um, burrito stuff... I'm pointing at something that's not there anymore. Uh, the burrito stuff was actually... I made the burritos in my Instant Pot. It's really nice to be able to just plunk everything in, turn it on, and walk away. Okay, time to pause. Sorry for the darkness. So I'm working on trying to edit yesterday's video, and everything that I have recorded shows up as offline. I don't know why, because other videos that I've recorded don't. Just the ones I've recorded from my phone. Cool. I now need to figure out how to do this. Boo kitty. Boo kitty cat. There you are. And it's board game night. I'm playing Wingspan via Tabletop Simulator. Which, I actually own Wingspan. Here, let me show you really fast. More petting the boot, Jenny. Meow. Well, hopefully now that I've figured out what in the world happened with my editing, I shouldn't have to reconvert everything next time. But see, I own Wingspan. It actually has the European Birds expansion inside of there. And Oceana expansion, which I have yet to play. Meow. I don't actually know where my housemate is. Oh well. Hi, Yasin. Hi, Zone. Oh, it's late tonight. I mean, you can see how well they're acting around each other. It's fine until one of them makes a sudden move. Yes. Oh, deciding you don't want to eat. Are you hiding back there? Nope, you actually went away. Okay, that means it's time to close doors and get ready for bed. Like I said, it's super late. My brain decided it wanted to talk to people and not sleep. There we go. That tends to be a problem for me. Um, people are night owls. I am not. What it means is that because I'm so desperate for being around people that I start staying up later and later. I mean, it's past midnight right now, and this isn't a time two years ago me was really able to function at. I'm not exactly functional right now either, but it's just I don't want to go to bed because that means that I'm not talking to people anymore, and... The pandemic meant that I had to be by myself for too long. Way too long. And that was very unhealthy of me. Not like I had much of a choice. Alright, well, I better go to bed. I have role-playing to run tomorrow, because I am running two games right now and playing in a third. Maybe I'll talk more about that tomorrow. Or maybe I'll end up playing video games tomorrow. Not sure. Good night, Internet. Bye.